I wanted to share a quick update as it relates to the FAA UAS registration. Now I'm sure many of you are going to laugh or give me the I told you so because in a previous video I mentioned that I was going to hold out on my registration with the FAA because I'm an AMA member and was optimistic that the AMA could work something out with the FAA where we would be able to use our registration number instead of having to go through the FAA UAS registration. Now with all of that being said, I received an email today that states AMA members are now required to register their aircraft with the FAA. So right now it's about 9.30 p.m. on Tuesday, January 19th. And if you're not aware, we have until midnight of January 21st. As you can see, if you register before the 21st, you will get your $5 registration fee refunded. Now, you will have to make that purchase on a credit card and that will be refunded back to you. Now, I've read some pretty funny comments from you guys about purchasing uh, gift cards or credit cards from CVS and, and using those. Some of you have set up fake email addresses and all that. Yeah, I'm not going to go to that level of detail. I'm just going to show you guys the bare minimum requirements. So you'll need your first name, last name, street address. I'm assuming that could be a P.O. box if you wanted. Um, your mailing address, and then we'll proceed to check out. After entering your physical mailing address information, then you have these safety guidelines. Of course, we all know these because we are responsible pilots, so I'll check that, click Next, and then it asks for our payment details. I'll go ahead and enter that information. I've gone ahead and entered my billing information. I've, I've blanked it out here, and you can see on the right, it says a three-year expiration at five dollars. We'll check this box saying that we understand the implications and we'll click pay and now it tells me this is my registration number provides me with a few bullet points and the process is done. And here's the email receipt that comes through after you do your registration you'll see your name and your certificate number date issued and expiration date. Now this is the number that you can affix to somewhere on your aircraft and as one user pointed out you can even put it in the battery bay as long as it's uh, fairly easily accessible. And let me mention one last thing. Now I've gone ahead and done this before the January 21st deadline. That's where you get your five dollars refunded. We do have until February 19th. That's sort of the drop dead date for registering. So if you still want to hold out and see what the AMA does, go ahead. Just know that after January 21st and through February 19th, you'll have to pay that $5. So just wanted to share that with you guys, let you know that I finally decided to bite the bullet and you saw me do my registration just now. And I appreciate all the entertaining comments for many of you who have already gone through this process. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.